at. I do. Thanks for the report, Casey, and stay warm out there up in Monument Hill. Now, the very latest is that we have seen some very heavy snow falling, especially for areas above about 6,500 to 7,000 feet. Right now, that snow line, the all important rain snow line, it's hovering around 5,000 feet. So Pueblo has seen mostly rain this morning, but now a transition to rain and snow over the past couple of hours. How long does it last? It's going to be heaviest throughout the daytime hours today, letting up late tonight and into Friday morning. But for areas, say around Teller County and Monument Hill, where Casey was reporting from, we continue to see those major to extreme impacts. Travel not advised in these areas. Winter storm warnings in effect in much of southern Colorado through at least midday Friday. So here's a live look at our local radar this morning and look at all that heavy snow from Denver down I-25 out west towards the upper Arkansas River Valley. As we zoom on into the Pikes Peak region, Monument, as Casey mentioned, really getting clobbered right now with snowfall rates up around an inch, maybe an inch or two per hour in some spots. Similarly, heavy snow rates currently falling out across parts of Colorado Springs. Look what's happening in Pueblo. Looks like we're mostly rain in town, but we just heard from one of our digital people here, Spencer. He just drove up from Pueblo about an hour ago and did say it was mixing rain and snow. And where you see these darker oranges on the radar, that usually indicates freezing aloft, which means it's snow or ice in the upper levels of the atmosphere. And that usually would translate in these areas to maybe that rain snow mix or a changeover to all snow might be imminent. Now, temperatures right Right now we're sitting in the 30s in the Springs in Pueblo, 34 in Canyon City, 28 Monument, 25 in Woodland Park. Look at the wind right now gusting from areas north of the Arkansas River Valley and Eastern Plains as high as 30 to 35 miles per hour in some spots and the wind. Oh yes, just adds insult to injury on a day like today, a day that we don't advise travel and we recommend working from home. So gusts throughout the daytime hours today up around 30 to 40 miles per hour in some spots. Now drier air looks like it tries to punch in late this morning into early this afternoon. So there might be periods where we get a break in that snow, but then it comes back. So the snow machine not really expected to wind down too much today. We will see periods of snow could be moderate, could be heavy for areas below 5,000 feet today. That's mostly going to be rain or a rain snow mix. But I think overnight into Friday morning, that's probably our best chance of that changeover to all snow in Pueblo. And this is one we'll probably collect most accumulations down there into the lower Arkansas River Valley. Eventually snow does taper off in most areas by Friday afternoon to Friday night. So this is additional snowfall and keep in mind some areas in the springs already seeing in excess of four to 10 inches. Some areas up towards Woodland Park, Teller County already seeing as much as one to two feet. And this is how much more we could see from what could be this historic event, right? Biggest storm in years in some spots, 10 to 18 inches still possible in Woodland Park, another 10 to 18 possible up towards Monument. All right, highs today again don't really change all that much from where we showed you with those current temperatures. And as we look at that super seven day forecast, Friday I think starts out snowy. Travel probably not good through the morning hours, but we should see some improvement with drier skies as we head towards Friday afternoon and the upcoming weekend. Now for Pueblo, we'll keep that rain snow shower threat going through Friday afternoon. I think we're drying out Saturday, but some moisture moves back in from that same system that's clobbering us today as we head towards the weekend. And that could also show up on that super seven day in Canyon City, right? So the main impacts with the storm through Friday, but then still some lighter showers moving in possibly both Saturday and Sunday for Woodland Park. Today is a day to stay home. High in the 20s, heavy snow and wind with snow showers into Friday, and then that continued weak chance of showers through the weekend.